Okay guys, I wanted to shoot you this quick video to show you what you could do if your robot stops trading. So if we look down the screen here, we've got a robot here that's got an error message and it's stopped. So let's go and have a look at the error message first. So you click on this magnifying glass and that opens up this pop-up. By default, it scrolls you all the way down to the last trade. But what we want to do is scroll right back up to the top and then go to the error messages. And you can see here it says not enough USTD balance to buy this amount of the token for an order for 60 USTD. So there's a few options that I've got. I can either add some more USTD into my MetaMask wallet. And when I've done that, I can come and switch the bot back on. Or I can go into the bot settings. I would make sure that I connect my MetaMask wallet because I can't make any changes unless I've got my MetaMask wallet connected. And then what I do is I come over to this one here where it says stop buying and sell all lots with a profit or break even. So I want to tick that box for now because I don't want to add any more funds. And I can come back in and change this once the bot starts to sell some of those lots and releases my USTD. And so once I've done that, I just click on save. And then if I look down at that bot there, that's it there. All I need to do now is to switch it on. So I switch that bot on. So that one's now ready to trade. So coming back down, so we've got this Bitcoin one here. This has got an error message. So I have a look at what the error message is. Again, scroll to the top of the screen and it says, scroll down, it says not enough USTD for it to, to do the buy. So I close that. I'll come in to edit the settings. I'm going to choose this orange one. You can toggle active over here so you don't have to do it on the front panel if you like. Uh, make sure that your MetaMask wallet's connected because if it's not, this save button will be grayed out. You won't be able to click on it. So you need to make sure that your MetaMask wallet is connected. So then I'll just click on save. So I can go through my bots and edit the settings or add more funds into my MetaMask wallet. You're not going to break anything, so there's no need to get all excited. You can just put them to that orange setting or add some more funds into your MetaMask wallet. So hopefully you found this video helpful.